Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Imfeld. How are you doing? Better yet, how are you feeling today? Well, I'm going to tell you how I'm feeling. I just brought myself up to my room. I needed some quiet space. My house has been a little crazy today. My dogs have been barking like crazy. They've been playing, crashing into everything. My girls have been doing their thing and we've been closed in for quite a long time now. So I was feeling frustrated and a little closed in and I just needed some space. So I came up here to my room to just take a deep breath. Have you ever needed space sometimes? Yeah. Mrs. Ibfeld needs it today. So I was thinking while I was sitting up here that I actually have something really cool I want to share with you. My neighbor next door is a book author and she has a new book coming out in July. She gave me a copy and I get to read it with you. We're both going to be reading it for the first time together. So let's go for it. What do you think the name of the book is? Yes, go figure. A little space for me. Yes, Mrs. Imfeld needs space today. Here we go. A Little Space for Me by Jennifer Gray Olson. Sometimes my life feels very crowded. Sometimes it's too loud. Plink, clank, plink, slurp, snore, or messy, or too hot, or smelly, or scratchy, or bright. Sometimes it can just be too much for no reason at all. One day, I decided I needed some space. And you know, I love this picture. I am looking so forward to the day when our school playground is going to look like this again. And I promise that day will come. I needed some space, so I got some. I loved my space so much, I wanted more. And more. And even more. Until there wasn't much space for anything else. At last, I had all the space I needed. My space to think and breathe, and rest, and dream, and feel, meow, until finally, looks like she has a little visitor, I decided to share my space. And I love this picture because it looks like they're doing a family cir circle together. But I always keep a little bit with me because everybody needs a little space sometimes. And she dedicated this book to her family. She wrote, to those who share my space. So who do you share your space with? I'm sharing my space right now. Are you sharing your space with brothers, sisters, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandparents, parents? The house can get a little crazy at times and feel a little crowded. We've been in for a while. But what I want you to think about is being mindful of when you're having feelings that are making you feel like you need some space. You need some quiet time to just think and take a deep breath. We all need space. And not just you, but your parents, your brothers and sisters, the family that you're living with, 
they all need space too. So being able to give others their space is also a wonderful gift. And it's all about communicating. It's all about telling each other what you need and taking that space to calm yourself, take a deep breath, and think about how to solve a problem if that's what's going on. So, you hear my dogs? Yeah. So, I want you to just take your time when you need it, give space to those who need it, and I think I'm actually ready to go back downstairs. When you're all done with taking your space, go down, give your family a hug, tell them you love them, and you can move on. That's it. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to go downstairs and I will talk to you soon. I love you all very much. Take good care.